Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Linear Functions, Linear Modeling, Homework Review Part 2. And we're going to pick up a question number four. And so we see here, Fabio is driving west away from Albany and towards Buffalo along Interstate 90 at a constant rate of 62 miles per hour. After driving 1.5 hours, Fabio is 220 miles away, 220 miles from Albany. And so here, the first question is write a linear model for distance d that Fabio is away from Albany as a function of the number of hours h he has been driving. Write your model in point slope form d minus d1 equals m times h minus h, h1. And so we take a look at this, and usually uh, in this form of what we call the point slope form, we're looking for a slope as well as a coordinate. Now we know after this many hours, 1.5 hours, he is 220 miles away from Albany. And so that means in this case, we have a coordinate of 1.5 as the h value and the d value of 221. So that's our coordinate. And uh, that'll be in this case, our h1 and this d1 in the formula. Now we need the rate. Now again, he's driving west away from Albany at a rate of 62 miles per hour. And so the idea is that our rate is equal to our slope. In this question, we see that we want to find out D, the distance that Fabio is away from Albany. So our slope is going to be 62 miles per hour. Therefore, filling this in, we have D minus, now D1 is 221, is equal to the slope of 62 that's the rate of 60 miles per hour, times h minus h1 is 1.5. And that's your first answer for letter A. Now, they want us to rewrite this model in slope-intercept form. And so that would be in this case, well, you'd have to distribute and try to solve for d by itself. So we have d minus 221 is equal to 62 times h minus 1.5. And so we distribute. And so we see in this case, we're going to get d minus 221 is equal to 62h minus, now 62 times 1.5, I believe is gonna be 93. All right, and now we're gonna add 221 to both sides. So that means D is equal to 62H. Now 221 minus 93. So 221 minus 93. Okay, carry the 11 here, so it's 8. Okay, that's 11, that's 2, 128. So we get, in this case, 128. And that's gonna be our function here. So in this case, the distance d by itself is 62h plus 128, all right? Now, how far was Fabio from Albany when he started his trip? Well, in this case, we see that Fabio, it was, it, we, we set the function equal to, well, h equal to zero. So d is equal to 62 times zero plus 128. He was 128 miles from Albany when he started his trip because that's the initial value. So here we see that that's the case, okay? No big deal, all right. So a lot of time our initial value, our starting value is gonna be our, our almost a y intercept for our function. Now for the last part, part D, if Fabio's dis if total distance from Albany to Buffalo is 209 miles, determine how, how long it takes for Fabio to reach Buffalo, okay? So round your answer to the nearest tenth of an hour. Well, okay, so if it's 209 miles, okay, and he is traveling in this case at 62 miles per hour, we're going to, in this case, 
we're going to plug in the value of 290 into our distance here and figure out the, the, amount, the amount of time. So, so we've said 290 is equal to 62H plus 128, okay? And so we see in this case that we're going to subtract 128 from both sides to solve for H. We're going to get on the left side, well, this becomes a 8, 2, 6, 162, and 162 equals 62H. We're then going to divide both sides by 62. Okay, so we take 162 divided by 62. And we get, I got in this case, 2.6129. So H is approximately 2.6129. But to the nearest tenth of an hour, we'll say the amount of time is equal to 2.6 hours. And that's going to be the time it takes for, uh, for Fabio to, to reach Buffalo if the total distance was, <clears throat> and total distance was 290, 290, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this has been helpful. All right, let's move on to our next question.